Hey everybody, Pumpkin here. So today we have three new cards added to the reveal list. We got an SK one, a Squirtle one, and a neutral one. So starting off, we're going to start with the SK one, uh, Primal Savagery. This card is five provisions, damage an enemy unit by two, death blow spawn and summon a bear abomination on a random allied row. So essentially you wanna kill a unit uh, that has two strength, or fewer, and you spawn a five. Um, five provisions, so your, your, your possible, your ceiling is seven points, and your floor is two. Um, is this card good? It is. Uh, this, this card's actually really good, because um, there, there are enough ways for SK to bring a unit down to that threshold of two, uh, from like four or three, using cards like Savage Bear, uh, Crack and Crate, uh, leader ability or like long ship pings. So uh, SK has a number of different ways uh, to support the ability of killing a unit that has two uh, HP, which makes this card really, really strong. I mean, it's a seven for five. Um, the condition is you put it in a deck that can actually play the card. So in a crack and crate deck, I think this card is auto include. I think it is very, very, very strong. Um, will this card see play outside of crack and crate? I don't know. Um, so you could play light long ships in other decks, but I think that's a little too finicky. Uh, I, I don't think you can take the risk of playing this for two points. It's really, really bad. Uh, so I, I think you have to play cock and crate. I, I, I think you have to play crack as your leader. Otherwise this card's pretty mediocre. So I think this is a very, very strong card for crack outside of crack. I don't think it's going to see a lot of play unless we get some other cards in the future that allows you to ping cards down and, uh, set up that two damage threshold uh next card sursa so this is a uh it's a gold card the visual is wrong it's not a bronze this is a gold square card it costs 8p uh for hp harmony deploy damage an enemy by two death blow boost unit in your hand by two so worst case scenario you play this you ping for two it's a six point play and it has harmony Harmony is going to be getting anywhere between like zero and three points. So we'll average it out at like two, let's say. Um, so wor worst case, I, I guess we can average it out at one. So worst possible case, it's like a seven for eight. That's not that bad uh, for worst case scenario. Um, average case scenario, because you are playing Scoia'tael, uh, you have leaders such as Bruver or such as Ethne, where you can ping units down. You have archers in your deck, you have Malayan in your deck, you have like a Swordmaster, you have Panther, you have a bunch of different ways to do damage, uh, allowing your Sursa to get the death blow off. So in Scoia'tael, getting death blows should be pretty easy to do. Um, so on average, you're looking at a four that deals two and boosts a unit in your hand uh, by two which comes out to eight value. Um, that's an eight for eight with the harmony tag. So um, your average value is an eight for eight, uh, assuming they remove it or lock it uh, right after. If they don't lock it or remove it, uh, then you're looking at an eight for eight that has the potential of getting between like one and three uh, points attached to it, uh, which is really, really good. Um, so that that's that's average value, right? That That's average value. I, I forgot to mention that this is a dryad. It's a dryad. Um, so the the high end, um, so hand buffing isn't utilized a lot in Gwent. The only card in the game at the moment that utilizes hand buff is Skaggs. Skaggs is uh, eight provisions, three strength, uh, hit a unit e uh, hit a unit and do damage to it equal to the strength of Skaggs. So if you boost Skaggs by one, uh, it's, it's one larger and it does an additional damage on the, uh, the deploy. So if you use Sursa and you boost Skaggs, uh, it's not only boosting Skaggs at two, but it's also giving his deploy effect two extra damage, um, which essentially means the boost is worth four points. So now you're looking at Sursa <laughs> being worth four plus the two plus uh, two plus two. Uh, you're looking at 10 value from Sursa uh, plus the harmony that we were talking about earlier. Uh, which will get between like one and three value. So like th th this card has the potential of being like 12 value for eight. That's crazy. That's incredible. Um, out of the cards that have been released thus far, I would easily put this at the number one spot. Um, this card is very, very good. Um, and it's only going to get better if they add another hand uh, buff card to the game. So right now the only card that does utilize um, 
like hand boosting is i mean i guess it's more the answer sure but i i mean like doubling the value um from the ping uh is skags technically ag lice but no um so it, it's skags um if they do introduce another card in the future that utilizes when i say future i mean this expansion or i guess future expansion uh it just makes Sursa even better because it makes it so that uh, you do get that value, that double value from the boost uh, that you give a card. So this card is really, really, really good. Uh, if you like playing Scoia'tael or you want to play Scoia'tael, you should be excited because this is a very strong card uh, for Scoia'tael. Um, yeah. Very excited to play this card. Um, and our final card for today is Watchmen. Uh, this is a neutral card for strength. Uh, it's five provisions order give an adjacent unit a shield so it is very similar to uh, artificer basically the same card except it's neutral uh, it doesn't have the ability to play on the front row and get the zeal effect from formation um, which it shouldn't because it's a neutral card neutral cards should be weaker than uh, faction specific cards so uh, the idea of this is the same as artificer you want to play this card on the board so that uh, the next card you play after it, you are able to give it a shield. Um, is this card good? I mean, if you want to build a shield in our deck and you want to play tons of shields and then you want to have a finisher with, like, King Ragnar, then, yeah, it's okay. Um, every shield is plus three for uh, King. So, I mean, if you're playing that deck, Watchmen is pretty good. Uh, you're, you're getting seven value out of it, which is solid. Um... You can do cool combos, I guess, with this and something like Vivian. Uh, you could play uh, Zoltan, or you could lead with a Watchman, play it on the front row, or any row, it doesn't really matter. Um, well, the row where you're going to play Skag's, uh, Zoltan on. So if you're boosting your front row, uh, you're going to probably play Zoltan on your back row. So you would play this on your ranged row, um, and then you would play Zoltan uh, on your back row, boost your front row, uh, and then you'd Watchman it and give it a shield. This way your opponent can't kill it the next turn. And then you can follow it up with a Vivian boosting the um, Zoltan to 15. Um, is that good? Eh, it's kind of gimmicky. Um, you could make that play uh, Zoltan into Vivian in one turn with M here. You could uh, play Zoltan, do the boost, uh, pick up a Nilfgaard unit. Uh, and then play Vivian, get the instant boost. So, I mean, that that's a lot less gimmicky. But uh, that is another way you could utilize Watchmen. Um, so I, I think this card will see a tiny bit of play in maybe some NR lists. I really need the shield. And that's assuming that, like, Artificer is not enough. Um, because Artificer is strictly a better card. Um, so I don't think this card will see a ton of play outside of NR. Maybe... I don't know. There's an engine in SK or Squayatel that like you have to keep alive, uh, so you play Watchmen. So it's a nice tech. It it allows to keep those core engines. Uh, it gives them a little bit more survivability, so I like it. Um, but I, I don't think this will be like a must play card. Uh, it, it'll be a very niche card that you play because well you have a few engines that you need to keep alive. Um, yeah. So those are the three cards that we got today. Um, let me know what you guys think about them, and I'll see you guys on the next video.